today we're going to add something that's called underglaze to our clay owl and this one has underglaze and glaze on it that's what made it shiny uh, the underglaze is just basically colored clay so this white that i've got on here is the underglaze so um, what we're going to do is you can go ahead and use the traditional colors of an owl or you could make it really colorful we've got about nine different colors and the tricky thing about underglaze is sometimes the colors look different before you fire them a second time so for instance this is orange and this is red they don't really look like orange and red but they'll become orange and red when you um, fire them uh, so we'll spend a day doing underglaze and then we'll come back after the underglaze is dry and we'll add a layer of glaze on top which will make it shiny so I think um, what I want to start with is you don't really want to mix colors it looks someone like someone didn't clean their brush very well but I can still dip my brush in here and just dip the tip and you can see that the very edge of that brush is the wet part okay I haven't gotten it all on the metal I'll hold it like a pencil and I just paint it on into this little area here and um, I've already done an owl with the traditional colors, so I'm going to go ahead and paint this one in some kind of fantasy colors. So when I switch colors, I have to wipe my brush, and then I rinse in the water, and then I wipe again. All right. So I want to have some blue on its tummy. So I'm going to paint that blue. Never seen a blue owl before. I'm really trying to get in those little areas here. using slow, careful painting techniques. Okay, I'm gonna wait for that to dry. I'm gonna wipe my brush and I'm gonna rinse. And then I'm gonna start to paint the top. I wanna have that be purple. There's no need to paint the inside because no one is going to ever look at that. It's just going to sit on a shelf and you'll see it. So I'm going to wipe and rinse and wipe again. And I can come in on top now that this blue has dried and make sure my brush is cleaned off a little better. And I want to put some little spots on top. So I just dipped the brush. Okay, and then when you're done, your brush goes in the water. Make sure you put the lids back on the underglazes. 